वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल गुरुगुल If you are watching my video for the first time then please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon for all notification Today I'm going to start with part 3 of exercise 7.2 Question number 8 Rao bought notebooks at the rate of 4 for rupees 35 and sold them at the rate of 5 for rupees 58 सो so, सबसे पहले वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट हिज गेन परसेंट अब यहाँ पे देखिए सीपी ऑफ फोर बुक्स हैव बीन मेंशन विच इज थर्टी फाइव एंड एस पी ऑफ फाइव बुक्स नोट बुक्स हैव बीन मेंशन विच इज फिफ्टी एट तो सबसे पहले हम लोग सीपी और एस पी वन नोट बुक का निकालते हैं वो देखिए सीपी ऑफ फोर Notebooks is equal to rupees thirty five. Therefore, CP of one notebook is equal to thirty five divided by four. That gives us rupees eight point seventy five. So, ये है cost price of one notebook. All right. Now, SP of Five notebooks is equal to rupees fifty-eight. Therefore, SP of one notebook is equal to fifty-eight divided by five, which gives us rupees eleven point six zero. So, यहाँ पे per notebook का value निकल गया है. So we can easily see. That Rao had made a profit, right? He had purchased one notebook at the cost of rupees eight point seventy five and sold them at rupees eleven point sixty. Therefore, profit is equal to SP minus CP, which is eleven point sixty minus eight point seventy five. That gives us rupees two point eighty five. Therefore, profit percent is equal to profit, which is two point eight five, by CP, which is eight point seven five into hundred. ये two places of decimal shifted together, so that is two eighty five by eight seventy five into hundred. So ये दोनों फाइव से डिविजिबल है सो इट इज वन सेवन फाइव और ऊपर में हो गया फिफ्टी सेवन सो यर ट्वेंटी फाइव सेवन सा वन सेवेंटी फाइव एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव फोर सा और राइट तो ये क्या हो गया फिफ्टी सेवन इंटू फोर बाय सेवन दैट गिवस टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी एट बाय सेवन All right. So we got the answer thirty two four by seven percentage. So first part is done. Now we'll move on to the second part. जो कि बोला गया है, find the number of notebooks he should sell to earn a profit of rupees one hundred and seventy one. तो अब ये देखिए ये किस तरह से करना है? Previously हम लोग देखे थे कि एक notebook पे राव ने रुपीज टू पॉइंट एट्टी फाइव प्रॉफिट किया राइट देफो वन सेवेंटी वन विल बी द प्रॉफिट ऑफ हाउ मेनी नोट बुक्स तो ये हम लोग कैसे फ्रेम करेंगे ये देखिए रुपीज टू पॉइंट एट फाइव इज द प्रॉफिट ऑफ वन नोट बुक देफो रुपीज वन हंड्रेड सेवेंटी वन विल बी द प्रॉफिट ऑफ हाउ मेनी नोट बुक्स क्वेश्चन मार्क इसी को फाइंड आउट करना है तो वो हम लोग कैसे करेंगे ये देखिए वन बाय टू पॉइंट एट फाइव इन टू वन सेवेंटी वन राइट तो तो जब यहां हम लोग टू प्लेसेस डेसिमल शिफ्ट करेंगे तो ये क्या हो गया ऊपर में दो जीरो लग गया राइट 
now we are going to divide so now we are going to divide 17100 by 285 right so 285 ones are and 285 six are 1710 aur ye jo zero hai upar lag gaya so we got the answer 60 note books so this is the answer question number 9 A vendor buys bananas at three for a rupee and sells at four for a rupee. Find his profit or loss percentage. So, ये quite similar है sum number eight से, right? So यहाँ पे it has mentioned that CP of three bananas is equal to rupee one. therefore cp of one banana will be 1 by 3 so now sp of four bananas is equal to rupee 1 therefore sp of one banana will be रूपी वन बाई फोर तो अब यहाँ पे जैसा कि हम लोग देख सकते हैं दिस इज द केस ऑफ लॉस सिंपल सा बात है अ पर्सन हैज परचेज थ्री बनाना फॉर वन रूपी बट ही इज सेलिंग फोर बनाना फॉर वन रूपी सो इट इज अ केस ऑफ लॉस दे फोर लॉस इज इक्वल टू सी पी माइनस एस पी ऑल राइट So that is one by three minus one by four. So we'll take out the LCM. All right. So ये हो गया four minus three. That gives us one by twelve. Loss is rupees one by twelve. Now we have to find the loss percentage, right? So loss percentage is loss by CP into hundred. That is loss. Loss हो गया वन by ट्वेल्व by CP. CP क्या है वन by थ्री into हंड्रेड So now let us evaluate वन by ट्वेल्व और ये जो fraction है that is divisible. तो ये into हो जाएगा और ये नीचे का जो fraction है वो reciprocal हो जाएगा That is थ्री by वन into हंड्रेड So it will be थ्री वन सा Three fours are next. Four ones are four. Twenty fives are hundred. So that gives us twenty five percent, and this is the loss percentage. Question number ten: A shopkeeper buys a certain number of pen. If the selling price of five pen is equal to the cost price of seven pens, find his profit or loss. Percentage, all right. So यहाँ पे total number of pens जितना कि वो purchase किया that has not been mentioned. So what we are going to do is we will write let the cost price of seven pens be x rupees x. All right. ये हमारा cost price हो गया. Therefore, cost price of One pen will be rupees x by seven. यहाँ तक hold कर देते हैं. Now, according to the question, क्या दिया हुआ है? That the shopkeeper sells five pen at the cost of the CP of seven pen. जितने में वो सात pen खरीदा है, उसी price में वो पांच pen बेचा है. So no doubt. He has made a profit, right? So यहाँ पे लिखते हैं according to the question, selling price of five pens is equal to cost price of seven pens, which is x. Clear? Therefore, SP of one pen will be x by five. तो ये तो प्रॉफिट हुआ है एज आई हैव एक्सप्लेन इट टू यू सो प्रॉफिट इज इक्वल टू एस पी माइनस सी पी 
वो है x बाई फाइव माइनस एक्स बाई सेवन और राइट नाउ विल टेक आउट दी एल सी एम विच इज थर्टी फाइव फाइव सेवन सो सेवन एक्स माइनस फाइव एक्स विच इज इक्वल टू टू एक्स बाई थर्टी फाइव रुपीज टू एक्स बाई थर्टी फाइव इज द प्रॉफिट विच ही हैज मेड Now we are going to take out the profit percentage, which is profit by CP into hundred. So profit is two x by thirty five again by CP. CP tha x by seven into hundred. So two x by thirty five into ye fraction reciprocal ho jayega. Seven by x into hundred. So x and x got cancelled. Seven ones are seven fives are thirty five. Five ones are five two zero. All right. So our answer will be twenty into two. That gives us forty percent. So the shopkeeper had made a profit, and his percentage is forty percent. So this is the answer. Question number eleven. Find the selling price when first part is cost price mentioned is rupees two thousand three hundred and sixty, and profit is equal to eight percent. So now we need to find the selling price. So its formula is this: S P is equal to bracket one plus profit percent bracket closed of C P. So just because here was profit, that's why here was plus profit. Hai. One plus profit. And when it will be loss, hoga, it will be one minus loss percent. Clear? So now let us evaluate. So one plus eight by hundred of two three six zero. Yeah, its LCM is coming. So one hundred plus eight by one hundred bracket closed into two three six zero. So this is coming. One hundred eight by hundred into two three six Zero. So now we will not reduce it here. Why? Remember, I taught you that if in the denominator there are ones, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, etc., so just straight away multiply it and then count the number of zeros and place the decimal. So here we will do that. So one hundred eight into two three six zero gives us two five four double eight zero by Hundred, so that becomes rupees. We'll count two places: one, two. So decimal is here. Aya. So it will be two five four eight point eight zero. So this is the SP, right? Now we will move on to the second part of question number eleven. Jaha ki bola gaya hai that cost price is equal to rupees three hundred eighty. And loss is seven point five percent. So, its formula is what? So, SP is equal to open bracket one minus loss percent bracket closed of CP. Loss is so it is subtraction. So, it is one minus seven point five. By hundred bracket closed into three eighty. So LCM liye, so it will be hundred minus seven point five by hundred into three eighty. After subtraction, ye ho gaya ninety two point five by hundred into three eighty. So again, isko reduce nahi karna hai straight away. Ninety two point five into three eighty gives us three 
फाइव वन फाइव जीरो बाई हंड्रेड नाउ वी विल काउंट टू जीरो एंड प्लेस डेसिमल और राइट तो वो हो जाएगा रुपीज थ्री हंड्रेड फिफ्टी वन पॉइंट फाइव जीरो सो दिस इज दी एस पी ऑफ सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन